How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. And recently we got the ZR1 dyno tuned and it made way more power than I projected. Keep in mind so far it's like a low effort budget build I guess you could call it. Uh, we threw on an intake, I gutted the factory cat and I threw a flex sensor on it. And going forward I may or may not reveal if I do anything else to the car. That being said it made 622 on E40, we were limited by our injectors, and I didn't even think it was gonna make that much. I thought maybe 600 wheel, but it made 600 wheel on 91. So if I throw in 1,000 cc's, we're seeing 660, maybe 680. Anyways, before I did all that, we went out and tested the vehicle. Bone stock, we were doing 60 to 130 times. We tried a zero to 60. One of the limiting factors might've been these tires. No, we're not getting new tires today. However, another limiting factor was my shifting. Now, if you guys are familiar with my channel, I drive stick shift a lot. This is my car that I've had for, geez, I don't even know how long. I don't know, maybe almost seven years now, eight years now. And it's a T56, you know, Coyote. Great car, great transmission. This car, for some odd reason, I kept missing the two to three shift. Now, I did some digging online and I might have figured out why that is and we're gonna test that today. So ultimately today is the first like full send drive with the new tune and we're gonna get some reactions from me and well, I mean, I haven't really opened her up a whole lot. I'm gonna be honest with you guys because I wasn't sure if my transmission was damaged. I don't think it is. Apparently it's pretty common and I'll explain once we climb in the car. But so today we're gonna go drive the new freshly tuned ZR1 for the first time. Let me climb in this bad boy real quick. So. What everyone was saying in the forums is if you try to guide this like you normally would, you know, you kind of like move it to the right. Oh, there we go. I did it right there. If you guide it, you're going to catch like the edge of fifth and it's going to lock you out. All you have to do, which again is kind of scary, is if you're in second, you literally just push forward. So you literally that's third now. I didn't guide at all to the right. I didn't angle it. You literally just push forward. That scares me because I don't want to go back into first, but I have never gone back into first. We'll do it again really quick, super fast. Just, and look at that. It's in third because we can go over to first. So essentially what I was doing was guiding it and that gets you locked out or that gets you caught. There's a rib right here somewhere and I don't know what causes it, but it gets you caught right in between fifth and third. And for some odd reason, that just happens. So all you do is, you know, see what I'm saying? And that's that. Now this is kind of scary because like I said, I don't want a money shift. I think the last thing anybody wants to do, and I don't think it's on my 2024 bucket list is to money shift my LS9. Don't think that's on my bucket list. So we're gonna try to uh, avoid doing that. I'm gonna test out this shifting theory in the T56 car. Like I said, I've been driving this car for years now. So I know this transmission, like I'm its doctor giving it prostate exams. All right, so let me see this one. Oh, way more just solid feeling. Okay, put in the clutch, first gear, second gear. I mean, you can maybe do the same thing. I don't know, let me see. I'm just gonna push it forward without thinking. Nope, that goes, that goes into first. See, so this car, this transmission is different. You have to guide it over. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, and then six. Are you rarely shifting a fifth in this car? Uh, <laughs> by then the race is over. But let's try uh, the, the Corvette technique again. One, two, I think that's one again, see, yeah, see? So for some odd reason, the Corvette is just either intentionally or unintentionally set up like that. Super weird, hopefully this goes well. I'm gonna strap on the GoPro and we're gonna go out and test it. Let's go. Really quickly, I just wanna tell you guys about today's sponsor, which you guys are all very familiar with. Simply Carbon Fiber. Simply Carbon Fiber produces and sells some of the highest quality carbon fiber products on the market. Accessories that you can carry every day just to keep your life a little bit more exciting. Here we can look at some of their new phone cases that they released. We have some forged carbon fiber. This one has a little bit of a pink or pearl in it. And then this one has some blue flake in it. We also have 
regular carbon fiber weave. This one has a little bit of a uh, pearl in it as well, obviously purple. And then on my actual phone, I rock the blue one, of course, because, I mean, it matches my uh, blue cars. Simply Carbon Fiber seems to always have some sort of sale going on, so if you're watching this in a distant future, go check out their page. Right now, they are having a 30% off sale, so go shop now and pick up some Simply Carbon Fiber while you can for a great price. Anyways, back to the video. All right, so I didn't bring the draggy, and let me explain why. One, I don't know how much room we're gonna have. We are going in the middle of the day, so I guess we'll figure that out, and uh, two, a lot of people complain that I take the same freeways. Today will be no different. I'm doing something stupid. I'm gonna take a familiar that I'm familiar with, not a freeway that I'm gambling with, you know? So we're gonna take a similar route, uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna let the car warm up, do a couple test ones at lower RPMs, and then uh, yeah, we'll try to get a couple full send ones. And if this goes well, then I will potentially put on my stock wheels and tires just for maybe a better traction because these rear tires won't do very well. And we can go out and do some 60 to 130s with the draggy. Um, but that would probably be in a different video. Let's let's solve one problem before we address another one. Uh, here, fuck it, for shits and giggles, let's just see. I mean, we're not at high RPM, but let's just shove it forward, you know? Let's just see, uh, let's see how she is. I mean, it worked. I kind of hit it weird with my wrist, so it kind of like deflected and it kind of hurt. But uh, yeah, I think the, the pushing method just works. Maybe it's just the way it's angled, like the, the transmission or the, the linkage. I don't know. It's, it's a weird feeling because like you feel like you're going to money shift, but you're not. So that's cool. But yeah, I'll uh, see you guys when we're warmed up. We're sitting in a little bit of traffic here, but that allows me to keep, I guess, practicing. Um, if I get a little bit of room. I mean, I don't even really need room. I just need to shift to third, right? So, I mean, it works. It just feels so unnatural. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it in the in the camera. I'll try to like lean back and break my neck so you guys can see. But it feels so unnatural. Now, I mean, it is probably faster than, you know, finagling with it, but I'll downshift right here. I'll keep my hand right here so you guys can literally just see me push forward. Like, I'm not guiding it to the right. I don't know if it's capturing it, but I feel like I see my hand jolt to the right, but I'm not. I'm just going forward. That's weird. That's so weird. We'll try it. Uh, let, let me see if I try a low gear one or low RPM, and I do it my technique if I can catch it to bite. It feels... Did I go to fifth? I went to fifth. Oh, shit. We'll do it the way the forums say. God, this car already feels faster. Yeah, I've gotten on it like a little bit, but I haven't like banged gears because like I said, I don't know if my transmission was a little uh, iffy. So, feels pretty good though. It's got nice response. If this works though, this is gonna make me super happy because I was really bummed out when I was doing all those 60 to 130s. I was like, dude, how I can't race anybody if the car doesn't shift, you know? Like if I can't shift the car, what's the point in racing? It's not. It's not gonna do shit, you know? I'm gonna have to money, or not money shift, I'm gonna have to like double clutch granny shift this shit. This is C7 right there. I'm coming for you, motherfucker. I'm coming for you. You ain't, you ain't getting away. Oh, I see him, all right. So yeah, the reason why I usually choose this freeway is I know it really well and 99% of the time there's no cops just lingering. Knock on wood, hopefully today's not one of them days. God, this tune feels great though. Like it's got, it's just way more responsive, you know? Like it's not like jolty or anything like that where it's jittery, but it just feels like it, it's just got more power throughout like the whole power band, which I mean, <laughs> it makes sense, but a lot more power, you know? Like I'm in sixth gear and if I really want to pass any of these guys, I do not have to downshift. I don't know where that Corvette went. There's a charger right there. You want the smoke, motherfucker? You want to f on me? I'll f you up, f boy. I just realized I probably have to bleep that because YouTube's gonna get butt hurt. It's a little bit more cars than I would want on the freeway, but it should thin out as we drive, so I'm not too concerned about it. All right, I might have an opening up ahead. Open up the valves, let her scream. I want to hear this biatch. Turn off the AC. 
need that full maximum horsepower. Now, if I have room, I'm going to try to redline it, which is like 68, 6900 RPM. If I get around there and I shift and it, it works, we're in the green. We know. I'd be amazed if it works first try, you know? I'm not the most familiar with this vehicle, but if that works first try, oh my God, some old middle-aged man from 2009 in some random form just helped out somebody, and uh, I owe him a big one. I owe that dude some sloppy if it works. Uh, we could slow down a little bit, start getting some distance, start scanning for some po-po. I do got enough room, I think. Got people going around me, which is what I want to see. Well, it worked. That part worked. I didn't shift all the way because this Kia Forte, I guess, has somewhere to be. Uh, but it worked. We broke loose a little bit. You guys probably heard it. I guess we don't really need to gun it because we're not going for a 60 to 130. I just need the RPMs up high. But it did work right there. Felt a little awkward, but it worked. Should have some more room up ahead. Oh, look, Kia Forte. Now you want to get over? Oh, so sweet of you. Thanks. All right, we're going to get in front of this fucking work vehicle. He's curating a nice slow lane for us. Thank you, Frontier. Maybe I'll upgrade my internet because I, you guys helped me out so much. There's a nice straightaway up ahead. Very nice. And there's no on-ramps, no off-ramps, so we shouldn't have anybody just chilling. Just want to make sure there's not a cop, cop in front of this truck. Very good hiding spot for him. Oh, nope. All right. Fucking everyone's cutting me off. Two for two. Two for two. I'm not going full throttle. I am trying to not gain up on their ass as fast as I can. So I'm not going full throttle, but damn, it is, uh, it's working. That's a very, very good sign. Like, <laughs> yeah, it means we could probably race this bitch. We could probably get some new 60 to 130 times. It's, it's low key working real well. That one I revved out probably the furthest one so far. Wow, that's a weird shifter design. Whatever. I just gotta know when I'm in this car, just push. Just push that shit. Just row your boat and push. Super weird. I'm gonna get on the other side of the freeway and we'll do a couple more. All right, we'll try to make some room. There's a little bit more cars than I thought around this time of day. Uh, I figured a lot of people would still be at work. We got a Camaro right here. Six gen. SS. Atta boy. Atta boy. I see a Ch Challenger coming up behind us as well. Shit. All right. All right. We might have some room up ahead. Well, the fucking Camaro just broke the law and went over the, the, the quadruple white lines. Can't have anything nice anymore. If I do it right here, the scat is going to think I'm doing a ricer flyby. So I feel like I can't do it right here. He's going to be like, oh, that Corvette did that to try to impress me. No, 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 Mr. Slowboat. I didn't. Um, but you know what? Right here might actually be a pretty good spot to do one. try to actually like give her the beans too fuck this thing is quick oh my god dude it's breaking i have traction control off and you hear it like fighting for traction just like da -da 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 -da, which isn't good i mean we might snap some shit but god damn it takes off like a missile once it hooks it's just pulling 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 the whole way Holy shit. Damn. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, wow. God, if only we had... Dude, if we had really good tires... Damn. You would think 345 slicks would hook, but... 
I guess these just ain't the right slicks for. We got a Durango, I think Hellcat right here. Whoa, cool, where, well, awesome. I wanna see this thing. It's wide body, okay, it's not a Hellcat. It is a wide body 392 Durango though, which is still sick. I mean, that's still cool. It looked fucking menacing behind me. That'd be a badass tow rig. I don't know what they could tell, but that would be badass. But uh, damn, damn, if only we had like some Mickeys on this thing. But I don't want it to have Mickeys because then it's gonna be only a straight line car, so shit. Um, we might have room to do one more up ahead, maybe. I'll see when we get there. All right, I would claim this is a successful day. Crazy to think that GM potentially designed the car to teach you how to money shift. That's absolutely insane. Tonight, if the weather clears up, maybe we can take her out. Realistically, probably not gonna happen tonight because I just got word that the wrap roll has a vi uh, ugh, that the wrap roll has arrived for the Mustang. So I'm gonna go home and start disassembling the car, getting it ready to wrap, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, it's not as hard as it was last time I wrapped that car. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please let me know down below. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can flock to the videos with everyone else. And until next video, peace.